All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's Jason here at Supper City talking about some performance fueling. And I suppose this could be for anybody who's involved in endurance sports and in particular, a lot of endurance training. So what are the three main Morton products that we have? You've got a powder, all right? You've got this light white pouch, which is your caffeinated. And then this is your non-caffeinated. This is roughly 320 calories of carbohydrate. That's one of their products. You've got gels, right? Now their gels come in 160s or 100s, caffeinated or the non-caff. We'll talk about these as well. And then your solid bars. Um, this is actually chocolate. And then you've got an oat cereal type of a flavor. Both of these taste great. We'll talk about these too. But these are the three main products we have with our Morton Performance Fueling. These products are specifically designed for these endurance performance athletes. Now, why are they designed specifically for endurance performance athletes? Well, to get the ideal fuel, in this case, glucose or sugar, to the muscle and the cell as quickly as possible. It means we need to convert it from food into uh, a usable uh, chemical energy known as ATP so that we could mechanically motor our bodies as well as other things. That's why we use them um, for that particular reason. And why else do we use them? They're incredibly clean fuel sources. So it's not so much as what goes into these products, but it's what they don't put into these products. Besides that, you're dealing with sugar. Let's talk about our gel pouch. This is more of a jelly. If you're familiar with any type of a Concord grape type jelly, that's sort of the consistency here. Now I found it's easiest to put the whole lot of this into my mouth, take a small drink of water and just swallow it down in one whole. Um, this is unlike other gels I've used in that the other gels I've had have sort of a goopy, syrupy, pasty uh, texture to it that can almost be hard to swallow. Um, these aren't necessarily like that. They go down pretty easily, but they're almost no taste involved. The, the easiest way to describe the taste is that of a honey flavored jelly. And so while sweet, it's not going to blow your taste buds um, you know, up through the back of your head or anything. So it's nothing like a raspberry or a chocolate or a mocha, just a sugary jelly that is easily um, swallowed from my experience. And then it's easily digestible and easily convertible for your body from this gel format into a usable energy in the body. When to use these, these are oftentimes taken anywhere from 20 down to five minutes before a race or event. And then these are also useful during a race or event. This is also for training as well, if you wanted to use these during training. Now, what, let's talk about exactly best uses for these and for whom. Um, most of the time I'll use these for training, uh, mostly low to moderate intense training over long duration. I will like to have some fuel on me if I'm doing a long zone two run especially if I'm gonna finish off a longer duration, low intensity run with some intervals or something to kind of work some threshold or speed. This will come in handy in, like a lot. So this is what I'll get a lot of use out of it for. Anything 60 minutes, 90 minutes, two hours of continued work. Um, also, if I'm on a stationary bike or an air bike for a long duration of time, these come in handy. Uh, like I said, easy to consume, easy to digest. They don't mess with the stomach a whole lot, especially when I'm at that low to moderate intensity. And by the time I'm doing any type of a threshold style of interval, um, if I'm running, um, it will have already been sort of through my system and it's not gonna interrupt me gastrointestinally. Um, and I'm someone who is very sensitive uh, gastrointestinally to anything that's in my stomach while I'm doing high intensity work. That's the use of the gels. And again, you could use these continually through long duration efforts every 20, 30, 40 minutes, depending upon your rate of caloric expenditure. But in any case, phenomenal fuel source, the Morton Gel 100 caffeinated and the non-caffeinated. Looking at our powders, this is where you could absorb more fuel. We could talk about uh, the best utility function for these as well. We're looking at 320 calories per pouch here, and that's about the max that you're gonna be able to take at any one time, and then over some duration of time, start turning that in to usable fuel, and that's without interrupting any of the gastrointestinal systems. Now, that could be for most people most of the time, according to Morton and their research. Um, maybe it's not for you. Maybe you need to take a little bit less, you can, especially if you're um, you know, smaller than the average bear. 
Uh, perhaps you could take a little bit more um, if you are slightly larger, like myself, I'm 6'4", about 200 pounds. Um, and so I may be able to use a little bit more, but again, I have some gastrointestinal sensitivities. So I would usually opt for less, oft oftentimes a lot less, and then I'll kind of have a little bit less and more continuation and higher frequency. So um, I can't just pound 320 calories and go out and run for a long duration. I'll probably take 120 and then continually take an additional 120 in booster uh, increments throughout the course of my run. Um, but these turn over incredibly well. The taste is interesting. There's an obvious sweetness to it, um, but then there's also this overly neutral uh, taste, the same way I experience a beetroot, which I don't particularly enjoy, which is I don't eat a lot of beetroots. But with a beetroot, there's, uh, to me at least, I experience this very neutral, almost earthy, dirt, uh, non-taste. And to me, I'm not overly attracted to it. And I get the same thing with these Morton powders. Um, they explain to you how much water to concentrate into the powder itself um, so that you can get the right consistency, which will further help turn this paste and this drink over into a fuel source for your body. But again, similar to the gels, I'll take this, you know, 15, 20 minutes prior uh, maybe 60 minutes prior to, just depending upon how my stomach's feeling on a particular training day or a race day. Um, but I don't generally take this during. I haven't taken the powder or the drink mix during. Uh, this has just been something I've used either before or even after because of the amount of calories that you can quickly replenish. Um, on days I'm training twice or even three times a day, this is great to take immediately following, you know, a long duration run where I've already burned 1500 calories or more. Um, this is a great way to get calories right back into the body, replenish my glycogen stores in preparation for my next training session. So uh, great utility here, great product, um, a lot of calories, of course. And again, you got the caffeinated and then the non-caffeinated versions. Now let's talk about my favorite Morton product of their performance fueling suite. Uh, we've got their solid bars. Now, um, they have 160 calories marked here. Now that is pure carbohydrate calories. These actually run about 200 calories per bar because there are fat calories in here as well. Now I think there's four grams of fat, which is roughly 36 uh, calories of fat. So you get 106 calories total per bar. These taste amazing. Uh, Absolutely, at least I ex enjoy them very much. One bar tastes like a Rice Krispie Treat. It's more their original flavor, and it does. It tastes like a Rice Krispie Treat. Uh, and after all, it is mostly just sugar. So it's not hard to make these things taste good, and they do turn over quite well, at least for me. I get great feedback on these. Um, and they've also got the chocolate flavor. Uh, it's very cocoa-ish, but it's definitely got a nice chocolate taste to it. They both taste great. And uh, they even taste better now that there's both flavors because you kind of have some contrast here between the chocolate and the uh, more Rice Krispie Treat-ish type of a flavor. But both of them taste great. And I'll usually graze on these throughout the course of the day. Um, anywhere from three up to four of these a day, I will eat comfortably, happily, and not feel bad about it at all, especially if I'm getting uh, two or three sessions in <clears throat> in the course of a day. These are fantastic just to keep me regularly eating without having to eat too much at any one point in time. And I don't get concerned if I've got a training session in 90 minutes or two hours or something, and I have one or two of these at this time, that's okay. I'm not gonna be overly concerned at all as compared to if I had a protein bar or some like a sandwich that may not metabolize in my body, may not convert into the energy I want to. And during my next training session, if I did have a protein bar or a sandwich leading into it, I'd probably either throw it up and or have to use the bathroom at some point during the session. And so again, these performance fueling bars are great for um, just helping me stay regularly fueled throughout the course of the day without eating too much at any one point in time. And also they taste fantastic. So there you go. Hey, and so there's your Morton Performance Fueling Suite between the powders, you got the gels, you've got the bars. These things are awesome. I highly recommend them, obviously. 
uh, not just because we sell them. We sell them because we use them and we use them because they're great. And I just want to pass this on to anyone else who's looking for, hey, just another tool in their toolkit. Um, and, hey, you got to use them to find out. So it's always worth a go. Worst case scenario, you find out that it's not for you. And at least that way, you know what not to do. And so uh, I highly recommend giving these a go and seeing if they are for you. And if so, awesome. All right. Well, hey, this is Jason here at Suffer City. Thank you very much, and until next time, go be great.